Well guys, today's video I'm going to show you guys how to get your free Wi-Fi hotspot turned on with a cool application. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to go into settings. This is going to be on the Galaxy S4. This is the Verizon version of it. So if you normally would come in here and you go to more network and you'd hit this one, uh, hotspot right there and try to turn it on and you get this error saying call Verizon you need a subscription you need to pay us for using this service well I say nah that's not right we're not gonna pay for that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna download an application which is this right here it's called Wi-Fi Tether now the application is um, free but it does require root access so you're gonna have to have root access on your device with something like super user um, or super sue either one works fine so what you're gonna do download it I'm gonna give you links to this in the video description and then once you download it you're going to this is the application you're gonna go down here to menu settings and you're gonna do two things that are very important right here make sure you're on auto and then and that's under device profile and then right here it says change setup method and you want to be on native framework tether. Um, I tried it in auto and it doesn't function. So just select native framework tether and then you're gonna have to, at least what I do is I set up my encryption so you hit your change passphrase, set up your encryption. I think it's gotta be 13 digits long which is kinda long but I like to have an encryption on it. And then you can back out of this and go ahead right here and it says press to start tethering and you're going to see a couple things here that's going to clue you that you're activating this Verizon Tether I uh, set up. So it asked for root permission there, which I've already given it, and it did a couple things here. And um, and here you go. So you can see once you get these little guys right here, that means everything is uh, up and running. And then up here in my notification bar, you can see I have the little icon for the application, but I also have the icon for Verizon, which means that it's right here hotspot activated so we just activated our hotspot right there um, by using this application so now I can show you guys something here on my Nexus 7 I'll show you how I access that hotspot and just show you guys how it's working so here's my Nexus 7 I'm gonna pull down my drop down I'm gonna go into settings right here and go to my networks and this network is right here it's called tether fallback that's what I have the SID ID named and I'm gonna hit connect and should obtain the IP address here in a second. It takes just a second here. There we go. It says we're connected. And then my little icon over here on the top, that red one that's Verizon, has a little one on it saying there's one device connected. And uh, then I can go into Chrome or whatever. And you can see I got stuff here, but let's just go to actually one of these right here. We'll go to, I don't know, whatever this is. My wife's looking at stuff on here. So, just once, whatever. And you can see that it is functioning. You can also tether this thing to a uh, laptop. That's pretty much the main reason you want to do it. Sometimes you might want to use your tablet, whatever. But, um, so that is it. It is fully functioning. And um, you can see over here that we're transferring data down here in the very bottom. So stuff is getting moved around. And that's it. That's how to set it up. You hit the stop button. It runs a little root script right there and shuts off your two icons up here. And uh, close out the application. There you go. That That is it. That is how to get free Wi-Fi hotspot on your Galaxy S4. This also works, I think, on the S3 and some other ones. Um, you may have to tweak some of those settings, but these are the settings that definitely work for the S4 on this application. Like I said, everything's in the video description down below. Hope you guys like this uh, video. Uh, it's informative for you. As always, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over there. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.